So we're still working with polygenic traits or traits controlled by more than one gene and the chickens are back. We're looking at combs and just to remind you how this works, there are two types of comb. There's the P allele, which produces what we call a P comb. There's an R allele, which produces a rose comb. If you don't have either one of those, like if you're fully recessive, then you get what they call a single comb. And if you have the rose and P together, then instead you get a structure called a walnut comb. And so this is, they give us a couple of parents and they ask us for the usual, tell us the ratios for the F1 generation from the following crosses. So let's see what we get. Here are two parents and as usual we want to know what gametes they can make. And these are both pretty simple actually. This parent can only produce one type of allele, sorry, one type of gamete and it's little r big P. It only has one R, and it only has one type of P, so that's all it can pass on. This parent, the same is true, except it can only pass on big R, little p. And so here is our itty-bitty Punnett square with the contributions of the two parents on the two sides. And when we combine these, we get big R, little r, big P, little p. This chicken has the rose trait and the pea trait, and when you have both of those at once, they produce a walnut comb. So the offspring here are going to be, genotype-wise, genotype they'll be 100% heterozygous for both <laughs> genes, and from the phenotype, they will be 100% walnut comb. Okay. Easy enough start. Let's see how this one goes. Now we have, this parent is heterozygous for both traits, which means we have to do a FOIL to figure out how many gametes it can make. It can produce first, big R, big P, outside, big R, little p, inside, little r, big P, and last, little r, little p. And this parent is very simple, only one type of gamete. All they can pass on is a capital R, and all they can pass on is a capital P. So we're going to have a 4 by one Punnett chart here. I'll put it horizontal so I have a little room to write. Big R, big P from the one parent, and from the other one we get every possible combination. So here we get big R's and big P's. Here we get two big R's, big P, little p. Here we get big R, little r, big P, big P. And here we get big R, little r, big P, little p. So what do all these look like? Uh, rose and P together means we get walnut. R, big P means we get walnut. R, big P, huh. Walnut, okay. Could we have seen that coming? I think we probably could have, because look at this. This parent is very straightforward. Every one of their offspring is going to get the rose trait and the P trait from them, and these are dominant, meaning it doesn't matter what the other gametes are. These are going to override, and you are going to get the rose trait and the P trait at the same time, meaning inevitably this will be walnut. So this is a walnut chicken, and all of its offspring will be walnut chickens as well. This is what we call a true breeding walnut chicken. And you can see in the Punnett chart, indeed, that did happen. It didn't matter what was contributed by the other parent. It's walnut all the way.